We are back with more Pokemon Darkfire, and ladies and gentlemen, I do believe this is going to be the new look of the series. A much more stripped down layout, much more simplified, and much more gameplay focused. Now after the destruction that we endured in the last episode, we are left with Mushi, Oiwa, Kino, and Jojo, and we are in some serious need of levels so i am going to very very quickly and i should have done this off screen run back and do a little bit of grinding but i will be right back here in just a moment an evolution here see so grinding for the actual video does have its benefits we are going to get our butterfree here My plan is to just kind of grind everybody up to about level 12 since that's where the quote unquote gym leader or uh, town champion, I suppose, was. So that is the goal here. All right, everybody's all fixed up now. We should be a little bit safer to continue here. And I am going to leave Jojo just at the front there. It's really odd how demoralizing losing your starter Pokemon, especially early on in a playthrough, can be. Ooh, we have great balls now. Nice, and a freebie. Love a freebie. But I am a person who generally likes to play through a Pokemon game and keep the starter on the team the entire time. We have another route here. That's cool. Let's go over this way and see what lies to the north. And in this house. Have we gone in here? But yeah, I never usually take my starter Pokemon off the team. So, uh... It is absolutely heartbreaking for me to know that I don't have my Eevee anymore. Rose has set off on her own journey. Okay, great. That's kind of cool. That means we might run into her further on. And I like their uh, furnace, too. That's really cool. I love the old school furnace. So, we have an encounter for Greendale Village here. Let's see what we get. We need to restock our team, so please be good. Double hop -ip. Oh my god. Well, looking at the bright side of things, Jumpluff could be good. Okay, so we have Hopip now. Um, I really don't know what to do about this. Hopip is another Mon that I've really never used at all. Okay, I might be changing my tune. Chlorophyll and a Modest Nature. I think Modest is kind of where we want to be with this Pokemon, so that's good luck. Route 10. Uh, so it looks like we start off with a couple of battles here. Jojo is at the front of the party. Let's see what we can do. Most people think this is a river, but it's not. It's the sea. Okay, either way, it looks like I'll need surf to get across. Okay, so actually, nothing here for us. Um, great. Problem now is that I have no idea where to go. Ah, that was a cleverly hidden item. PP up. Okay. Now that could be useful later on if we get a move like Earthquake or uh, one that has even less PP, but it's also good money if we need it. Where do we go from here? We don't have much option here. We have to kind of go back to Anheim Forest and up to Anheim Town, it looks like. Interesting. All right, let's give that a try, shall we? Wow, this move set for Peppo is not good right now. Whoa, that's terrible. Oh, there's a person in front of the mansion now. What is this? Where did that Beedrill go? Okay, ha, -ha. you've unlocked it. Okay, cool. Um? Ooh, muddy underpass, okay. This is new. Do we get an encounter in here? We do! Okay, what is this? A Geodude. Fitting. And look at the background! I know I bring it up every single time, but that's so cool. And just like a good Pokemon game, I could have really used a Geodude in that tournament. That would have been a huge help. Yeah, our ball supply is not looking very good here, guys. Ah, we are now in a hideout, it would appear. Ooh, look at this. Oh, wait, are we in the underground of that mansion? Okay, um, problem though, we don't have any potions. 
This is terrifying. Did we pick up Oron Berries? Cherry Berry, Lepa Berry, and Pomegs. Ugh. Okay, well, I'm gonna play it safe, and I'm gonna go back and heal. I know it's a long way, but I kinda have to do it. Okay, I'm back here. Now let's get into some battles here and get rid of these gang members. I'm not going anywhere. Or maybe I am? What? What happened? Oh, we can't let them see us. We have to go stealthy. Interesting. Has there ever been a stealth puzzle in a Pokemon game before? This is so neat. Oh shit. And down here. Not a hard stealth puzzle, but it... Excuse me? Oh no! Come on! No! You gave away my position! Go and tell the boss exactly why I'm here. That's what I was planning to do. Rattata, use tackle now! Don't know who's attacking who, but okay. Oh, the kid, okay. Rattata, rat! Okay. Whoa! Please, make it stop! They're attacking the president! I'll tell you what, Mr. President. I'll make it stop when you give us your classified research notes. See, okay, so I told the president he shouldn't be walking around alone, and I was right. And... Research notes? What president is doing research? I... I can't. I really can't. If these newts get into the wrong hands... Newts? If these notes get into the wrong hands, Pokemon could enslave us all. What? <laughs> Rattata, you super fang. Greta! Oh my god. Okay. Wah! Okay, okay, just make it stop. There. Wasn't so hard now, was it? Rattata, return! Okay, so they're just straight up attacking people. Cool. Spin it out, idiot. Uh, uh. There's a government official north of Anheim Forest. He has all the documents you are looking for. North of Anheim Forest. In that case, we will clear the bridge. Oh, it seems we have a spectator. Gypsy, right? Ha! Don't feel alarmed. I have eyes in every dark corner of this region. In fact, I've been watching you battle for a while, Gypsy. Do you really think you managed to get here without alerting any of my men? Wrong. I purposely told my colleague here to alert you in Anheim Forest so you could find us in here. Anyway, here we are. Welcome to the Subo Territory. Your battling talents are quite extraordinary, Gypsy. In all honesty, with those skills, you could fit right in with the Subo. You obviously didn't see my competition. What is it that you desire most? Power? Fame? Riches? I can provide all of that to you. Oh? Who am I? The leader. The cheap operative of the infamous everlasting Subo. The Subo part? Secret underground battling organization. Interesting, okay. We're the talk of the town right now. Sounds scary, right? It's not supposed to. We're just a group of like-minded people whose activities do not fit into the cynical, man-made paradigm of modern morals and empathy. Why? Because morals and empathy are signs of the weak. All throughout history, the weak have always perished, and only the strong have survived. The lion eats the deer. The deer eats the bird. What deer eats birds? Oh my god, okay. The bird eats the worm. Tenjo politicians like to refer to themselves as roaring lions. Yet we devour lions. We will control the minds of the people and use them all as our tools. And Mr. President here will help us do just that. Keep it up, Gypsy. We'll be watching you. What was that? Oh no! The region is in turmoil! How will I ever show my face to the innocent people of Tenjo again? What's worse? The group are on their way to steal my classified notes. Once they get a hold of these, hell itself will manifest before our eyes. Quickly, please come with me back to my office. Gypsy, as the Subo said, they've gone north of Anheim Forest. I need you to give chase to them and stop them from stealing my notes. Well, you could have just given them a false lead. I mean... Let the entire world count on a ten-year-old kid. Okay, no signs of dead Spinarak. That's good. Gypsy! How's it going, Gypsy? Long time, no see. I was getting bored of all the noise in Union City and decided to find a more relaxing place to hang out and explore. I've gotta say, 
Union City seems like a shady place. I'm not sure why, but I feel the government is hiding stuff from us. I was even feeling weir weird vibes inside the government offices. Well, you've got a weird president, man. Well, whatever they're hiding is still a mystery to me. I think, though, it's something huge. But I'm on to them, Gypsy. Nothing will ever stop the truth. I, the great Tyler, will, f will find out exactly what is going on, and I will be the one to expose them all. Say, Gypsy, I wonder how much stronger you've become since our last battle. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out! Alright, Tyler, three Pokémon. Please be reasonable. We can deal with a Talo, I think. Couple rollouts here, and this one should do the job. And we miss, of course. I wish this Geodude would have started out with Rock Throw instead of Rollout. You're pretty good, but this isn't over. Hound Hour. No need to change here. You got some pretty cool, cool encounters, though. I would have preferred your encounters. That should kill. Yes, indeed. And bam, Pikachu's gonna go down. Indeed, you could not stop the rollout. That was some battle gypsy. I definitely need to become stronger. Anyway, I'm off to train in Route 5. I'm gonna need a stronger team. I heard there are some secrets there which people are trying to figure out. But I won't let these minor things stop me from exposing the truth! Keep your eyes peeled, Gypsy. See ya. He is strangely intense. Okay, Anheim Town. I would love to live in a town like this, just buried deep in the forest. This is awesome. Have you seen our church? It's magnificent. I don't know why, but it isn't open all the time. Well, most churches aren't, I don't think. I'm not really a church goer, but pretty sure they're not always open. I once spent a short vacation in the Tenjo Mountains. I met a wise man along my travels, and I'll never forget what he told me. He said, if an egg is broken by an outside force, life ends. If, however, an egg is broken by an inside force, life begins. I wonder if the Romhack creator was reading philosophy as he was designing this game. It would seem like it. Anheim Church, yes indeed. Well, we haven't gone this way yet, so let's see what's up here. Here lies the protector of the forest. He was once a famed Pokemon trainer who rose to defend the people of this town from those who sought to exploit them. Just as he succeeded in his efforts, his life was lost. We have dedicated this place to him as our thanks. Oh, I thought they were just talking about Celebi. Okay. Okay, this is Route 5, and I guess this leads to the Tenjo High Road. It takes tremendous courage to face the coming challenges. The journey will be long and tough. I don't have what it takes to go past here, but maybe a young trainer like you does. Best of luck. Well, that's ominous. Well, we have an encounter. Let's not be afraid. What do we have for Route 5? We have a Farfetch'd. Okay. We're getting some weird encounters here. Oh, bird of mine own soul, fly Tensanon. Wow, okay, this game definitely is not designed with uh, young players in mind. They would have no idea what that means. It appears to be an ancient stone tablet. Should we touch the tablet? Yeah, why not? Oh, it's blinking at me. What in the world? The stone tablet radiates a mysterious energy. What have I done? Okay. So it glowed at me, but nothing happened. Please do not play on the rocks. Well, I'm not playing. Hey, another jump puzzle. Cool. Experience share. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. Well, it wouldn't let me get off the rocks, so let's go this way and explore a bit. I don't like magnitude, though. It shakes the battle background. Disconcerting. Ah, uh, sand true. Yes, we will definitely switch on the sand true. What? Why does everything no roll out? Kino, no! <laughs> I was dumb, I should have just switched back into Geodude. Ugh. Well, you know, it had guts, but it was just a Rattata, so it is what it is. Plus, I'm sure you guys love it when I lose Pokemon. Isn't that what makes this content and not just some old man playing Pokemon? It wouldn't be very fun if I was just very good at it, would it? The one destined to awaken the sleeping Pokemon heareth this. Who is can navigateth termagant waterfalls like a halcyon staircases? What is- what is this ROM hack? <laughs> Look, George, all I'm saying is these stone tablets are old. They probably don't even work anymore. Don't say such things, Paul. Everyone knows that whoever solves the puzzle will be granted eternal wisdom. Okay, well it won't be you two. Hey you. You're a trainer, right? What do you know about the stone tablets in this route? Not a lot yet. What's the matter, kid? Has Meowth caught your tongue? I think it's mocking us, George. It? You think I- 
It? How dare you? Okay, time to battle. Does this coughing have levitate? It does, okay. Try to get off a thunder wave. Perfect. Because coughing does not have good special defense. I always nearly forget that. Uh, but coughing is a defensive powerhouse, but its special defense is wanting. I'm not proud, I'll heal in battle. Goodbye. No, okay. Now goodbye. A lot of handling you did there, that's what you get for calling me an it. Get the heck out of my way. I'll show you what a real battle is. Okay. Snubble, okay. Intimidate. It always looks like it's raising my attack. Don't really have a great way to deal with Snubble, so we'll just leave it up to Jojo, I think. Not quite enough, ah, oh, okay. But we don't take any damage and the Snubble's gonna go down. Screw this, I'm out of here. Hey, Paul, wait for me. You won't get away with this, kid. You won't be so lucky next time. It wasn't difficult. Another stone tablet, okay. Let's press it. So cool. It's battling time! Yes, it is. They were prepared for rock types. I'm glad I put Oiwa at the front. I like that you can't just assume the bug catchers are going to be easy to run through with something like a rock type, though. It really makes you start to think a little bit more about what you're doing. We'll stay in on the Nincada. I'm not too afraid yet. We are getting a little bit low on health with Oiwa, though, so... Need to be a little careful here. Oh, we just one-shot. Awesome. Nincada, sorry, buddy. You're just not that good. <laughs> My husband is very welcoming and caring. Go inside and have a word with him if you're tired. He'll let you rest. Good! I'm glad I didn't just use a Paralyze Heal. We have Route 6 here. Another encounter. And a battle. Come on, I just want an encounter. Ooh, Pokemaniac. Okay, Slowpoke? No, Lickitung. Well, I'm glad you have a bond with your Lickitung, sir, but uh, it's not the strongest of Pokemon, so... Yeah. Oh, it is bulky, though. It is so bulky. This is gonna take a while. It's got knockoff? Oh my goodness, okay. Well, it's a good thing we were able to put it to sleep and whittle it down a bit, goodness. That could have been dangerous. I've never been afraid of a Lickitung before. Jeez. Okay, well, back to the healing hut it is. Okay, now let's get an encounter. Thank you. Machop and Fanpy. Okay. Okay. We have a choice to make. I think I'm gonna go for the Fanpy. I could use the bulk. Let's go with a Premier Ball for Fanpy. He might be fancy. Oh no, not fancy. No! Everyone's weak! Great Ball it is! No! No, Peppo! Aw, oh, man. Come on, the stupid rock weakness. Okay, that sucks. Go, Great Ball, please. Stop the rolladding, Fanfi. Fanfi, I did it again. I always said Fanfi as a child, and it just came through again. I've lost more Pokemon than I care to admit here. Into Rockfall Cave, what will we get as an encounter here? We're getting some encounters. We are losing a couple of Mons here and there, and oh man, we get a Wizmer. Ugh, you hate to see it. Okay, well that's Wismer. I guess x -Cloud can be good. Maybe. I'm gonna be really upset if I walk into the next encounter and it's something really cool. A Pokeball, okay, we're still picking up Pokeballs, nice to see. And another Wismer. Good thing is I haven't run into any like really cool encounters. No Aeron or anything, so I'm not too upset. Always good to have at least one Mon you don't mind throwing away if you have to in a Nuzlocke. Because chances are, there's going to come a time where you have to just toss them on. And see, like, Onyx. No big deal. Are you a fossil person? I'm here trying to find some rare Pokemon, but I'm having no luck. Yeah, me either, buddy. Me either. Gah! I had to come inside this cave to get away from the flowers outside. I'm allergic to pollen, so every time flowers are nearby, I, I... Achoo! Sniff. Ooh, a man with purple hair, we must investigate. I'm hunting for some psychic type Pokemon, but I can't seem to find any around here. We are hitting every single sleep powder. I love it. It's level 16 though. Oh, come on! No! <laughs> Either he's not that squishy or I'm just super weak. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty weak. In and out and in and out. My goodness. Okay, assuming this is a Pokemon Ranger. 
An unidentified Pokemon is causing trouble in the depths of the earth. I've been sent here by the Rangers Federation to deal with it. Okay. Um, say, you look strong. Think you could lend me a hand? Yes, this sounds interesting. I'll go on ahead, try to catch up. Okay, I've bounced off the same wall about 12 times now. I think we just abandon that for now and come back later once we have Flash. Uh, I hate that I'm gonna have to teach Flash to a Pokemon, but uh, I can't see a path forward in that tiny cramped little hole. At least we now know how to access that area and it'll be pretty easy to come back to later on. Oh, there was a Misdreavus in here. That would have been a neat encounter. That's, an, that's actually a Ghostmon that I've never really used. Uh, I've used its evolution, Miss Mages, but I don't think I've ever used a Misdreavus. If I had to be a gym leader, I think I would choose to be a ghost type gym leader, or a dark type maybe, but I think I lean more towards the ghosts. What kind of Pokemon gym leader would you be? Let me know in the comments down below. Alright, let's go this way. Oh, a trainer! You must be tough if you made it through the cave. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you for that. Nice battle background! We're hitting every single sleep powder, even to our detriment sometimes. Girafferig. Okay, that's scary. Um, hmm. So it's a physical attacker. We're just gonna go into Doji here. Get a magnitude 9. Okay, that should, that did not do the damage I was hoping for. Okay, Girafferig goes down. Didn't even attack, really. Strange. Oh dear, a chasm. Okay, one, two, three. It's useless. I'm too scared of heights to even attempt to climb down this rope. Why did I become a ranger in the first place? Oh, a trainer. Greetings, trainer. I've been sent here to investigate the steep ravine you see down below. By whom, you ask? The Rangers Federation, of course. But I've, uh... I've sprained my ankle, yes. So I can't climb down there. Can you climb down this rope and see if there are any dangerous Pokemon below? Uh, y sure. Yeah. Okay, this is cool. <laughs> Fasten your harness and ready to go! Alright, we're in the ravine. Does this count as a new area? It didn't update on my, uh, on my map. Or on my, uh, screen. But I'm gonna say this is a new area. Because he called it something different. A low tad! Ludicolo could be fun. I'll take that. I am gonna count this as a new area just because they refer to it as a different area. I think that makes sense. Lotad! Nice. Another Mon that's gonna be nearly impossible to evolve. And ditto! I am glad we ran into the Lotad, to be honest with you. Is that you, trainer? Do you want to come back up? Yes, there seems to be nothing down here. Hoo-ha! I'm on fire today! Here I come! Yeah! Did you fall down the ravine? This is an extensive route. Really, really is. So this puzzle looks like it was just intended to help you get an item, so let's grab that real quick. Full heal, nice. You know, I almost forgot what we were doing here, so we're supposed to be touching uh, stone tablets and looking for the Subo gang members. Uh, and I haven't seen either of those two things uh, since going into the cave the first time around. So, I can feel the cold breeze from Laveria City float over the mountains. A battle will warm me up, so Laveria City must be a snowy kind of place. That's something to look forward to. Because we are not good against ice either. Okay, we have made it to Laveria City, everybody. Uh, this has been quite a long recording session for me, so this is where I'm going to end it. We should start next episode with a brand new team, and I am very excited, and I hope you guys are too. If you guys are enjoying this series so far, don't forget to smash that like button, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye!